Hey guys, it's Travis with the Jellyfish Warehouse and today we're going to be looking at how to set up the Omni 8 gallon Jellyfish Aquarium. The first thing you'll need to do is find a sturdy location for your tank away from direct sunlight. This tank weighs about 75 pounds when full. Set down the foam leveling mat before putting the tank down. This step is extremely important because it helps level out the bottom of the aquarium and keep it from potentially cracking. The pump comes pre-installed, but let's make sure nothing's moved during shipping. The pump should be on one side connected to some tubing and a valve, and then that tubing should be connected to the spray bar as you can see here. Locate the carbon filtration pad. This will need to be rinsed off first to remove any loose particles. You can just give it a quick rinse off under your sink. Slide the pad into one of the filtration compartments in the back of the tank. It should fit snugly. Now locate the Superstart Biological Media. This contains all of the live bacteria you'll need to get your tank started. Don't rinse it off as it's got live bacteria, so just tuck it into one of the filtration compartments in the back of your tank. And now we're ready for water. We're adding pre-mixed salt water here. You can get this at your local aquarium store or you can mix it yourself. Either way, it's best that you mix it up in a bucket or another container before adding it to the tank. This tank holds 8 gallons, so we need roughly 2 buckets. There should be 4 plastic clips that will help keep the lid in place. The light sits on the back and the thumb screw helps tighten it down. When plugging everything in, make sure your cords have a drip loop. Once your tank is running, water will begin moving through the various filtration chambers and down to the pump chamber. As water evaporates, the water level in the pump chamber will drop, so be sure to top it off with fresh water. So your tank is officially set up and running. But we can't add jellies just yet. The tank needs to cycle. That's the process of letting those beneficial bacteria grow and colonize in your tank. Since we added the Superstart media, this process will be a lot faster than normal, but we still recommend letting your tank run for a week or two to let it fully cycle before ordering your live jellyfish. And that's really all there is to it. Paper instructions can be found on our website under the Instructions and Guides section, and if you have any questions, please email us at info at jellyfishwarehouse.com.